my name is Shrine Ninzi and thank you so much for stopping by on my video today. Today I'm going to be testing out the brand new concealer from The Ordinary and I'll be using their full coverage foundation to go along with it. How is this concealer? I'm excited to see if it can cover up. As you can see I have a lot of spots and dark circles and all that fun stuff. So if you want to see what I think of this concealer then please keep on watching. I have the Cara Beauty Starry Eyes Palette. I really like this one. It's a really nice travel friendly palette and I think I'm going to use the bronzer and blush later once I have the foundation on but it's a very travel friendly palette. It's got a big mirror in there too and the eyeshadows are really really nice. Formula is amazing so I was just playing around with some different colors and things. Um, so that's what I have on my eyes right now. Here's the concealer. This is supposed to be a high coverage formula and it's supposed to help cover blemishes um, and it says to blend with your fingertips or your brush. I got mine in the shade 1.1 Fair Neutral. Hopefully this matches me all right. I did get it online on Ulta's website and hopefully this will look all right on me. And for the foundation, I got this one in the shade 1.2 Light Neutral, and I have tested this out before. I think this was the foundation that I've tried. I have tried a Ordinary Foundation formula before, so I'm excited to see what I think now that my skin has changed a lot since the last time I tested it out. And as you guys know, I like using a sponge on one side and a brush on the other. I'm actually using a Sigma F88, so this one has an angle to it, but it's very similar to the Sigma F80, so I thought I would do this today. And then I'm using a Cara Beauty Sponge. This is so soft. This is the first time I'm using it, and oh my gosh, is it soft. But as you guys know, I have normal to combination skin, and I have been experiencing some dryness around my nose due to my Curology. I do get oily, and otherwise I'm pretty normal and dry everywhere else. And as you can see, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation and scarring. Um, from picking and acne and all that fun stuff. <laughs> Let's move my hair out of the way. I am going to put a hydrating primer on one side of my face. This is the Essence Hydrating Primer. I'll put this on the right side of my face here. Really get it in them crusty parts of my face. So I'll go in with the brush on this side. Let's see. Oh, whoa, I do not remember this being so liquidy. Wow, I can tell this is really gonna blend out. The Ordinary is such an affordable brand. You can find it at Ulta um, in stores and you can find it at different other different online retailers. So there is one pump. Did a decent job of covering this up. It does look a little bit heavy on my skin though. Looks really good. Let's do the sponge on the other side here. Definitely got more coverage with the brush for sure. And it's not doing too much covering on that scab there. I think I'm gonna go in with the brush here and just kinda add a little bit more where I need some more coverage. But both sides look the same. Again, the primer is on this side of my face. So let's go in with the concealer and see how that works under my eyes. It's a little squeeze tube. Oh, this might be very pale, but it is thick. So I'm just gonna, oh, this is very thick. Oh my gosh, this might be too light. it is settling into the fine lines that's not looking cute and I'm gonna use the other side of my sponge it's definitely settling into a lot of the lines under my eyes I hopefully you can see the settling under my eyes here but it is not looking too cute I did see a couple of people try my TikTok hack that I saw where you take your setting spray and set under the eyes. I'm just gonna add a little bit more concealer just to see how much I can get under there because I don't feel like it's covering up um, the discoloration. 
like on camera it looks like it's covering it up but it definitely just doesn't look oh yeah it's just looking very cakey but this concealer does not look cute at all let's go in and do the setting spray hack so i'm just gonna take and spray on my finger and then oh that might have been a little too much and then i'm just gonna tap under my eyes until it doesn't feel sticky anymore as you can see it definitely didn't cover up any of this here i'm gonna take a little bit of the foundation on my finger and try and spot conceal I'm gonna go ahead and set under my eyes I'll be using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm gonna use the powder puff I got from Amazon this does not look cute at all everything is just sitting on top of my skin and clinging to any dryness even on the hydrating primer side it looks slightly better but everything just looks gross so i'm going to take a powder puff and go in with my maybelline superstay powder just to lightly set all over my face i'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off of camera like i said i'm going to use the blush and bronzer from this palette here and i'll be right back we're back and this is not looking cute at all i have some amazon lashes for my eyelashes today the faux mink lashes i'll have those linked down below i have a sigma liquid lipstick on in the shade cashmere so that is what we are working with right now but it is looking so gross like it's just settling into all of my texture and not looking cute if you are dry or have any little bit of anything on your face this is not gonna work out for you that is everything we are working with it's later in the day it is 146 i probably finished putting the foundation on around 130 so i'll say that I finished the foundation at 1.30 and I'm gonna wear this as long as I can, but I already know this is not gonna look great. So if my oil's helping out, then that'll be a miracle. Uh, but if you're dry and have any bit of texture, this clings super bad. It's clinging to the fine lines under my eyes really bad. It just looks cakey. Let's see if setting spray can help this out. Catrice HD Active Performance Spray is everything and i'll see you guys later in the day but the time is now what time is it 252 252 and then you can see what it looks like in natural lighting i can tell already just from this hour that the oil is definitely helping it to soak into my skin a little bit better. <laughs> my boyfriend's like, this. <laughs> looking at me. But the powder didn't really set it too, too much, but I can just feel like the oil is coming through. I have a lot of cat hairs sticking to my face. There, I finally got the one. But here is what it's looking like so far. And I have worn this foundation before. Oh, bless you. I have worn this foundation before and Back when I wore it last year, I think it was last year, my skin was completely different. I was a lot more oily and in that review I actually said I liked the foundation. So the fact that my skin has changed so much and my opinion of it has definitely changed. It's very interesting just from my skin changing a little bit. The concealer definitely is not great for the fine lines under your eyes. Definitely. Oh yes Leo, what you crying for? Here's Leo. Oh. <laughs> Hello, the time is now 10 16, so I'm only like 14 minutes short of it being nine hours, and the foundation is looking so much better, like I thought, um, with the natural oils in my skin. It's just settling in really, really nice. Like I said, with all the oils in my skin, it doesn't look as textured anymore. It, it definitely is not transfer proof. It definitely just like it's gonna move if you rub it or wear a mask or anything like that. But otherwise it looks so much better like this. And again, I did wear a hydrating primer on this side of my face and 
it looks about the same as this side. Maybe the makeup is holding up a little bit better, like in the cheek area. It's definitely a foundation that is better for people who are normal to oily. Or I would say, yeah, definitely normal everywhere, not with texture, because this definitely settles in a lot better with oil for sure. But the concealer settled into my lines still, but again, the oil just kind of helped with that as well. I have a little bit of settling into the lines here, but it's crazy how my skin has changed so much in such a short amount of time, and my opinion of the foundation has changed so much since my skin has changed. It's just kind of crazy. It's a really inexpensive foundation and concealer, but like I said, I would recommend this for people who don't have any texture and are on the oilier side. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye!